Hello and welcome to this week's Boltover TV. My name's Michael. Here's what's coming up in the programme. The former coalite site near Boltover is starting to take shape as a new road infrastructure has been built. Essential work to clear vegetation has started on the A38 and a project to nip Boltover has got underway. But first, consumer confidence due to the current wave of COVID-19 and Plan B measures has resulted in lower footfall across retail in Derbyshire. A reduction in hospitality takings of between 40 and 50 percent and cancellations across accommodation is leaving many premises without bookings until March 2022. The latest survey results from accommodation providers show that 62% of businesses in this sector across our county are reporting a change in anticipated income since the Omicron outbreak. 54% are reporting substantially lower than normal income and a further 42% reporting a little lower, such as self-caterers who seem to be holding better. 81% are requesting cash grants and 80% are reporting a loss of confidence for the first quarter of 2022. Council leader Steve Fritchley, along with all other Derbyshire council leaders, signed a letter to Michael Gove requesting further support be given to help those struggling businesses. I oh, signed it purely and simply because, you know, it's, it's a completely inadequate um, measure uh, for the uh, problems that we've got currently in Derbyshire. Um, you know, when you look at... Uh, um, Derbyshire in its entirety it relies a lot on tourism, you know, leisure industry and measures that they put in place are completely inadequate. You know, they, they've had a, a torrid time, you know, this past few years. You know, Old County has had a, a torrid time and uh, it's got to end at some stage. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, we've got to maintain these businesses. We've got to keep them uh, ticking over. They've got to stay in existence so that when, you know, things do improve, it's ready to go. We've got to try and restore confidence uh, in businesses and the only way you can do that is to actually keep them afloat, uh, make sure that they, uh, you know, they can actually reappear when this pandemic or when measures are reduced uh, to you know, get into full swing. I mean, we're not far from spring, hopefully, uh, when tourism uh, season starts. Uh, we want an industry there that's ready to go. Now, the former coalite site is starting to take shape after the land has been cleared and a new road infrastructure has been built through the development. Known as Horizon 29 East Midlands, the site is being transformed into a business park with industrial and warehouse units built to the very highest specification. The site has been derelict and left in disrepair for 11 years before Bolsover Land Limited, together with public and private sector funding, started the process in 2015 of regenerating the site and bringing thousands of jobs back to the area. The development is a key site for business growth and will provide a welcome employment boost for the area. Nigel Lax told us a bit more about how the scheme is developing. We have, uh, in the last month we've we've reopened buttermilk lane having completed the the road improvements there we've built two roundabouts which now access the the development plots we've demolished the railway bridge which was the uh, the humpback bridge that caused so many issues over the years um and i'd like to think we've completely transformed you know, the outlook of the site we're ready to go in terms of now building uh, units of, you know, above ground development, as we call it. So I'm handing it over to my development team very shortly. In the meantime, uh, again, locals will know that HS2 carved its way through the site and that effectively meant that we could not build the residential phase out. And a large part of the site, circa 50 acres, is still sterilised by, by HS2. Uh, a phase which the government announced they were not, they're no longer going to proceed with. We've got 90 acres circa of land, um, which is basically oven ready. So it's, it's fully remediated. The development plateau is formed and they're fully serviced. So you know, power and water and drainage 
is now in. We've got one transaction in what we say in lawyers' hands. So where the solicitors are negotiating a plot sale and we're going to develop out, which will be the first phase, 115,000 square foot uh, logistics unit for a local occupier. And then we've got one other deal which we're trying to get into into lawyers' hands, so we're agreeing heads of terms. Ten, as I say, 10 years of very hard work, but um, the market has helped us, and I would like to think, you know, we'll be out in the next another five years. We should be we should be well out, Just depending on what HS2 does. If we can get them to uh, release the safeguarding, then we'll carry on with the, with the, the last 50 acres. Females aged 16 and over in Bolsover can take part in a Party in the Dark event. The last event, held in November, received a good response and participants can take part in a range of activities delivered in short, manageable blocks interspersed with music and mocktails. The event will take place at Bainbridge Hall on Tuesday the 25th of January and is free of charge. Places are limited though and need to be pre-booked with Wayne Hatton and he's on 01246 242. 362. Essential ground maintenance work along the A38 corridor has started. The work will involve cutting the grass, pruning branches, trees and shrubs, which will help restore the degraded grassland and remove any obstructions and encroachments on the A38. The Council has published its Gambling Act 2005 Statement of Licensing Principles, which outlines the procedures it intends to follow in undertaking its statutory responsibilities and functions under the 2005 Act. Bolsover District has 15 licensed gambling premises, which consists of betting shops, adult gaming centres and a bingo establishment, and the documents can be viewed on the Council's website. And finally, a community project that aims to see knitted squares adorn Bolsover Town has got underway. Knit Bolsover is an initiative by Sarah Smith from Molly Felicity Designs in Old Bolsover Yard. She wants to encourage the local community to knit, crochet, needle felt or sew a number of 10 inch by 10 inch squares which depict the town. It's hoped that once the squares have been done, it will then form part of a larger wall hanging that can be displayed throughout the town. We went to speak to Sarah to see how people can get involved. The idea basically is if it's in textiles and I'm going to be able to sew it onto my Hessian wall hanging that we're going to be making, um, it, it can be involved. Um, so some people said they can't knit but they can applique, they can't knit but they can crochet. So we just went, whatever you can do, do it, because it's about including as many people as, as possible and just a bit of a fun community project for us all to get involved, or involved with. So what we're planning to do is make it into hangings that we can display in various areas. We can take it out on tour and tell everybody how great Bolsover is. Um, so we're thinking at the minute it's going to be three panels. If we end up with more squares, we'll make it into bigger squares um, and then they'll be on display. So, for example, they'll be up here at our next yarn day in August. Um, we're hoping that the library and those sorts of places will display it for us as well. So people can just pop out into, into their area and see what's been created. When, when I was approached by Heather to say, could we do this? I just thought it was a really lovely idea. We were just coming out of lockdown. It was a bit of a weird world that we were coming into and it just sounded really nice to be able to do something that brought us together as a community, but also you could do individually and show your skills yourself because you're, you're, all you're doing is that 10 inch square. You're not committing to a lot. If that's all you want to do and then walk away, that's great. We'll, you know, we'll put it together and, and do the rest. So it was a lovely idea that it was something that could bring everybody together and a bit, bit of something nice. You're holding what you've created for Knit Bolsover. Take us through what we can see. Um, well, this was supposed to be the Cundi house. I thought, I'll... It seems easy enough to kind of have a go at it, but it's going to challenge me a little bit. Kind of throughout making it, I kind of enjoyed the challenge and being able to, yeah, enjoy it all. It's been brilliant. <laughs> Well, what a brilliant, fantastic community project that is to get involved in. That's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I look forward to seeing you next week on Bolsover TV. Goodbye.